everybody, I am DH and welcome back to the Miskatonic. Now before we begin, um, I kind of said something last week in the wrong accent, so, uh, <laughs> you know, but again, who cares, so let's get back into it. We have, to recap, we've just broken some rules, um, and we're about to find out what the hell happens. So let's see what happens when you break rules in the Miskatonic University. Good morning, Miskatonic. It's me, Mindy, in the morning with the Miskatonic morning announcement. What is this morning you speak of? It sounds awful. First off, thanks to our dedicated and highly trained fodder, the Coporium is now a host to a hefty portion of Cthulhu flesh, and all at record cost for only seven fatalities! Man, I'm getting fat! <laughs> On to the international news. The Miskatonic University Canadian branch is suffering a Yeti infestation. Brought about by the recent How Many Yetis Can We Get series of experiments. I can't tell if that means the experiments was a success or a failure. Is there a human resources department in this building? I'm only wondering the best way to start a work day by blaring news about fucking Yeti apocalypse into my head. Call me crazy. Oh, hey, Lizzie, how's it going? What you doing? Grime bath keeps all that New England atmosphere off so I don't get any extra bits of Bob sticking out here and there like the folks here. Secret Richie trick. Want to try some? What's in it? Oh, lavender, rose petals, sandalwood, ambergr ambergris, some guy's blood. Mushed worms, horse placenta, powdered dog, small assortment of rocks, bacon grease, squirrel, and peppermint for that tangy flesh feeling. Horse placenta. Like my dead mother used to say, ain't nothing gets through horse placenta. She drank a lot. They sent a team to the Norleys to investigate what we found. Where? We're on errand duty today. I think someone needs your help in the library. Okay, when my grime seeps in a bit, I'll go and see what they want. Thanks, Lizzie. I took the posters. Oh, and I thought Mrs. Roth did breakfast. She's off Kate. She's off Kate. And oh, God, she's not Scottish. She's English. Come on, English accent. She's off Kate in some dopey exclusive branch for the higher ups, so I'm delivering breakfast. I'm delivering today. Here's yours. Uh, who's in it? I don't know if I had a name, seeing as it's bacon sandwich. I could ask if you want. Wait, really? It's like human food? No, it's a pig. No, I mean, never mind. Thanks, Anne. Annie. No problem, my lovey. You want seconds? You come and find me. Toodles. Huh. Guess Anne's not made of 100% pure aggravating after all. How about that? Well, apparently I'm needing the library. Better get over there. Hello, Wobbly. Did you enjoy your little bacon, Sarney? I did, thank you, Annie. What was the sauce? It was super scrumptious. Oh, that secret English re sauce recipe. I smuggled some under my fabulous petticoats. Back home, we simply call it brown. Ah, shrub, don't tell me you made it out shredded freckles and ripped up throats or something. Am I going to get sharp teeth and purple blood, Annie? Oh, no, 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 no. They made brown sauce before the great thunner in. It's made out of vinegar and molasses and all that. <laughs> Tastes great on cooked ass, though. Oh. What's the great funnering? When everything got fun. Used to be really boring before anyone went a little nuts. Should have seen me playing badminton, 
my ugly ass white dress being courted by the local boys in plain waistcoats, cofted air, pims and pickle in cocktail sticks, picnics in the weekend in the park. But bus to town comes every hour. Please and thank you, routine and pleasant. Bloody tedious. Live in England, it is similar, but not exactly. I don't know, that sounds kind of nice. Ah, you should see it now. That bus route, now the bus is covered in spikes and the driver trades his roadkill for a night on the pie maker's brother. The Bagmington courts are now communal barbecue pits where the whole village get together and cook burgers out of the football team from the next town over. The local boys wear nothing but a smile and the local girls use their white dresses to nothing but bite wounds. No bastard bobbies popping you in the head for pissing up the wall of the local pictures. Wait the first, of course. There's a lot of fun to be had when you're in it for yourself, my lovey. Huh. Well, apart from the cannibalism, it doesn't sound, all, doesn't sound too bad. Shame about the other cannibalism. Right. Hey guys, you wanted to see me? Ah, uh, oh, witch girl. Wouldn't happen to have any more secrets to divulge. Um, let me think. Oh, I discovered that I had magic eyes when I was nine. The day I left for school, I became a witch. I sneezed in glass and liquefied my home ex teacher. You have magic eyes. What do they do? Well, I don't have much control over them, but basically do this. Creepy. And stuff happens. Usually it's harmless making people think strange things or their or their limbs go a little numb. Makes tiny doggos do backflips or babies say their first words. But you know, occasionally it makes stuff turns inside out. Okay, that's an ex extra secret for you, Nico. Well, that's my secret gathering that I need your help with, Charlotte. We're looking to expand the library to house my collections, but the engineering department exploded last night. I need you to find some power tools that will help us in the library build an extension. Are you up for the task? Sure, I guess I can handle that. <clears throat> Excellent. Try the corporeum. If anyone has power tools in the building, it'll be that French girl. I can't remember my father's face. The corporeum. I'll go and check it out. Oh, hey guys, have you seen any engineers? We're trying to renovate the library. We still have engineers. I thought they all exploded with that dupy machine they've been trying to build for ye yog knows how long. Nope, there's still a few wandering around campus. Withered and broken heart. With it is broken hearted parsnips, a lot of them. I got I filled the shrapnel quote by now. I saw a student, a word of a lie, he has his head cut in half. Oh shit, really? Yep. But he was always a little two-faced. Oh ha ha. Uh, two-faced. I've heard engineers use the Ethiopium to store complicated prototypes, Charlotte. Chances are They've got what you're looking for. Thanks, you guys. I'll go and check it out. Hey, Vicky. Where the hell is everyone? The engineering building. Didn't you hear the explosion? Most people are off carrying the wounded to the infirmary. Oh, yeah, of course. So what are you doing now? Well, I don't have any arms. Ah, lucky break, huh? Well, it was more luck lucky ripping off and eating. Sub will man out the science. Victorious and unrelenting. Radical. Hey Jess, I'm told there's some sort of engineering project. One of the guys left here. Do you think the library guys could borrow it? Huh? Oh yeah. It's over there. Creepy. Did you find it? Did some big ugly... What the fuck? I want one. 
Well, there's this thing. It's like half car engine, half steak, half steel purse. Is this for fighting ultra vampires or something? The reasons you don't teach here just pile on top of each other. I have a rock studded lady boner right now. <laughs> Oh God. I gotta have one in black to show the cover and they'll lose their shit. <laughs> Take it then, we're gonna use it to shut the Aetherian pin up, but that ain't happening. We thought witches were into herbs and eyeballs and cauldrons and stuff. Why are you rock solid over that monstrosity? First and foremost, witches like awesome stuff. Eyeballs are awesome. Cauldrons are awesome. Secret midnight dance-offs are awesome. <laughs> And the Lady Burner is awesome. You are a colossal lunatic. Thanks, Jess. I'll see you later. <laughs> hmm. Hi, Spooky. Naka's waiting for you in the library. What's that thing? Yep, glorious, ain't it? If you say so, it looks like something they built for fighting ultra vampires. I know, right? <laughs> hey, guys. I got a thing. Ah, spooky girl. With the engineers taken ill, we've decided to use the shredded remains of their department to store Nico's archives. Just until the engineers, you know, start existing again. Yep, we don't need to renovate until they restart their technical course, which requires a student with arms or legs. Does that mean I get to keep this thing? Help yourself, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. I just want to look at it. <laughs> Well, good luck with that. Okay, job done. I'll go and put this in my room, do a quick patrol, and start my private investigation. Nothing like stolen comic book posters to remind a girl of her witchy values. <laughs> and nothing like investigating the stolen brain to make her forget. Them. Better get back to it. Okay, Annie. So where were you last night? I snuck into your room, but you weren't there. Oh, you know, off on a secret mission, New Orleans, Hidden Keys, Dark Revelation, Tragic Tales, that kind of stuff. Top secret. Probably didn't hear about it. Wait, why are you in my room? I don't know, just for talking. You're pretty much the only person I talk to other than my brother or the lunch lady. And that's usually about, you know, lunches. That's probably because you're incredibly annoying. Besides, the only thing you talk to me about is trying to trump my butt. Yeah? It's a good dynamic we got, ain't it? Yeah, it's not that bad. Ah, oh, Charlotte, thanks for the help with my archives. Care to them... Care to add them with another secret? Um, let me think. Well, the reason my hair is like this is, is so I don't accidentally use my eyes on something. If one of my eyes get, is covered up, it seems to lessen the effect. Weird, huh? Yes, I've heard about your magic eye. I may have a small experiment for you tomorrow, so don't go poking them out before then. And remind me to build a Charlotte ward for my archives. Sounds like fun! See you around, guys! Why did you leave the coven to work here, Roman? Well... What's the cult of Shugnazra's motto? Preach harmony and compassion for the universe or for the all universe authors neither. Exactly. Try and make the world a better place because it's incredibly shitty and what the guys do, man. But rather than being nice and helpful to enables, try creating vaccines, technology, all that kind of stuff. And the Miskatonics on the frontier of occult science and working here means you get to be a part of the collective of the history makers. Trust me, Charlotte, they'll remember us when these when these guys cure cancer or polio or ten tentascalitis. Well that makes sense to me. What about what about you? Why did you decide to work here? Same reason I became a witch. I really like all this creepy bullshit. Ramon seems to think these guys are on the level, so if I go blabbing about what I saw in your ears, I could lose my job. Maybe that's just a handful of nutty folks performing weird experiments outside the university's iron site. 
But then again, the whole facility dedicated to it, with the tunnel leading there and warning signs all over the stuff on the walls. No way this was a legit operation, and I'm gonna find out who's at the top. <clears throat> so, what you been working on? The rediscovery of one of the lesser species of Yith it appears to be in the form of a black sentient cloud, though occasionally forming random solid shards or icicles in its core when the under severe distresses the Yag Yathians can't read today seem to use them as a form of nourishment and humour, torturing them before they inhale the smoke. Odd thing is, one of the last chapters in the Platonic Manuscripts, the Yathians wrote that the clouds communicate in a human language. I have seen hypothetical writings describing the human soul as, a fol as floating black spikes, funnily enough. Sounds like the two might be related. It would mean that the first pre-human contact with the Yathians was situated in the lush jungles of the Arctic. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think we've got an expedition to plan. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Our school swimming team each has a custom-made swimsuit to suit their needs. Their needs, of course, being ex extra trainous limbs or mutated proportions. Most of them have. What the fuck is a swimsuit? A suit that you wear when you swim. I'm starting to get the impression that witches are the odd ones out. How was your internal zonification? Any negative side effects? Nope. Pretty smooth transition. Oh, I figured out a cool trick and having my intestines fallen out. Oh yeah, what's that? Just grab them and rip everything out. Works like a charm. My torso is completely hollow now. Those signs are literally worth thing that can happen to a human being. But if a dumb idea works, it's not a dumb idea, I guess. Hello, Wobbly Bum! Fancy meeting you here. Indulging some late night reading, are we? Well, I was going to check out the tentacle taxes, a dissuasion of regaining control on the route to transmutation cycles, but I've lost my appetite for knowledge. Oh, yeah, the Oh, these? They're white chocolate and chef and sugar paint. I just make these in the kitchen to remind me of home, you know. Wow, really? <laughs> no. Their engineering department exploded, remember? It means I get a pig out. Awesome. Thanks, Anne. Did you know our library holds records of every encounter with Yogg-Sop and the horrific god of eternal knowledge in human history? Wow, how many encounters have we had? None. Weird, right? Oh. Maybe that's why there's so many goofy feelers around? No knowledge got to give them the knowledge? Huh, that explains a lot. How do you explain the engineering explosion? It took out the whole department. I was in the garage across campus. One of the great things about being a mechanic, you don't need to spend a lot of time trying to invent a better wench. Because you're too busy overcharging the sp for the spark plugs and peaking pin-up calendars. Gotcha. We had a pin-up calendar in the headquarters once. And by pin-up calendar, I mean a spell of the month calendar. And by headquarters, I mean Susie's house. And by once, I mean every year since I was nine. Thanks for from the Corporatorium, the Prenatrium. Oh, fuck off! Thanks to our efforts in the Corporatorium, the Prenatrium machine has advanced 200 years. Now England's mutagenic atmosphere has gone from a catholic, and we're getting to a mild mechanical nu nuisance. When I was a kid, I saw a guy whose face was a butt crack. Alive and well, thanks to the Corporatorium. I gotta be someone from the occult science department who's responsible for e extracting brain goo from the people. Best keep my snooping here for now. Does the creative writing teacher seem a little weird to you? 
Whenever someone answers the question wrong, his eyes start pouring out with blood. Hmm. The bruise is a little bit confusing, but when the claw starts clutching their heads and covering their ears to down, it's so cool that's when it gets me. Huh, Craig invited you to either some sort of banshee or just a huge douchebag. I'm gonna take my two weeks holiday and go work on. I'm gonna take my two weeks holiday, go to work on one of the skull crackers sailing around Riley. Has got to be the easiest job in the Miskatonic office, right? You know they call it Nightmare Corp City for a reason, right? It's because the, it's a nightmare city filled with corpses, or a city filled with nightmarish corpses. That's the three-eyed cat, mate. And they say that about everything. They said that about Milk Walk. There's a nightmare city with equally nightmarish corpses. But then again, I've never seen Milk Walk, so. Hey guys! Whoa, what's this in Wriggling Meats Lab? Crazy idiot. Oh, that is a piece of Cthulhu skin. Charming, isn't it? Grody. But I thought Cthulhu was like some huge alien god. How'd you get such a huge chunket of him? Well, he might be a huge alien god, but he is still corporeal. He is still co corporeal, we? Oui? Funny story, there's lost underwear in the Pacific called Riley. It used to act as a prison of Cthulhu. Cthulhu spent an, a couple of thousand years trying to get him out of there. But a few years ago, some Norwegian whaling crew accidentally let Cthulhu out of his cage. As Cthulhu chased their hut, out of desperation, the crew decided to ram his face with their boat, and this caused Cthulhu's head to explode into Mashigu disabling him, but his head, head slowly started reforming the moment it exploded. Smart fella then immediately told the Miskatonic, now who employs a fleet of icebreakers to continue drive through the mushy remains of his head, stopping him from reforming and destroying the world. Sounds like a fun gig. What are the rig... What are the wriggles doing? They point towards the part rest of their host, desperately trying to reform. We? Oui? Nowadays, our supply ships use small pieces of Cthulhu to flesh to point out the way to Riley. Awesome! Thanks for the biology lesson. Ying Ren sucks, China. Cause the causes the victim to see a pair of glowing eyes in places of pitch black darkness. Sufferers are terrified from falling asleep. Nothing that the eyes seemed to get closer whenever they looked away from them. The worst sufferers saw them even when they had their own eyes closed. <clears throat> Platonic blog Italy. Sculptures in their texts were being hidden inside Italy's most popular newspaper crossword puzzle. Those that completed the crosswords were rewarded with terrifying revelations of the birth of humanity, most being driven insane by their knowledge. Domestic Earwig New Zealand. A simple earwig that crawls into the victim's ear at night, but makes, sound, makes sounds of horrific muffling, screams and violence. Sufferers thought that their neighbours were literally murdering each other. Many of them saved contented wives by murdering innocent husbands. The male population of New Zealand halves over the weekend. Well, that one wins. Done that one, let's go down here. Student Ethorium, let's see. Hey, the fertility's heading to Dunwich for a, in a couple of days. Need the locals to help a new portal. Whenever I hear the name Dunwich, it puts a grin on my face to know that however tough my job gets, at least I'm not the portal diver. It puts a smile on my face whenever I get my portal diversity's paycheck. Damn shame your job of standing in the hallway isn't so lucrative. Huh? That's gonna be a big, big chafe bet if the works were face made out of buttholes. Extra cerebral science seems to be a common factor outside the human race, even when decapitated. Some extra creatures seem to function with some control over their actions. Hmm. <sighs> 
It's a difficult thing to study, at least if you have any qualms about citing the head of diverse selection of adorable animals. I really hope these guys have qualms about cutting the head off adorable animals. All the qualms. Let's go down here. How's it hanging, well, man? What did you say for me getting out here, hit the tunnel and grab some street food? Could go for a foot long. Awesome. Please don't encourage the Eldrick Barrier protecting the Western Hemisphere of our planet from our incredibly volatile experiments on the original Necrochromicon misbehave. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just falling around with him. What you been working on? Currently, the effects of applying samples of Necrochromicon parchment to the heated patches of human flesh. Oh, um, and? The sample of parchment actually scribes the entirety of the Necrochromicon contents of the subject's skin. Essentially making a new copy of the book by tattooing the subject's skin. Or, you know, scarring. And the people you're doing this are okay with that? Oh, I don't know. It's not my department. Why? Um, never mind. See you around, Jess. That experiment sounds pretty nefarious, but nothing about brains and gooey extraction. Better keep an eye out. So, is there anything else I should know about nature and its communal consciousness or whatever? They hate it. Yeah, TH uh, recurring would be thrilled. INTH, why am I uh, too tired? Communicable consciousness, that's a cool idea. Would be a lot faster to spread than harmony if everyone was connected at the brain. Then again, it'd be a whole lot easier to infect people with an asshole virus. Probably for the best that we all think for ourselves. Ah, Bob's office is me a laugh. Did you hear the Council Librarian Arts program yesterday? Libri liberal arts? These are like the study of a bit of everything, right? Why the Council? Well, you can imagine studying a little bit of everything here at the Miskatonic. Oh, yeah? I guess that would be a little suicidal. Ever had a brain controlled of the eth ethereal ooze? Does have its drawbacks. Last night I lost some goo. It had dripped off in the rain. I forgot everything I learned in college. Ah, wow, how much ooze did you lose? About half a teaspoon, but the only thing I learned in college was how to play beer pong. Huh. This guy, this, these guys have a brain goo pouring out their heads. I wonder if it's the same brain goo as in the brain goo we discovered. But these guys have purple brain goo, which whereas the stuff I found was orange. There are multiple are there multiple flavours? What's up, Charlotte? You're looking a little frazzled. Oh, there's nothing, wandering the halls, listening to what folks are working on, wandering more halls. It's a weird job. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you're making us feel a lot safer. We haven't had an accident in the whole building since you've been here. See you around, Charlotte. That called that's cause most folks are just standing around the hallways talking about board games and diseases and shit. What are they waiting for? Dr. Thesis Varte might come off as a little apathetic towards the plight of humanity, but he gets it. And what we need at the frontier of occult science. He gets it? What does he get? He gets that sacrifices have to be made from both the inside the university and outside of it. It's a nice thought that all of humanity needs a little love and tenderness, a cult girl. But love doesn't cure bright blight prox, does it? Bye now. Well, I was thinking I'll make a breakthrough in my investigation, but if it's if there's if they thinks like that, ain't too hard to imagine that he'd be fine with kidnapping folks. Many agrees with it. With his methods, maybe I'm scientist on it here too. Ah, Charlotte, finished with your patrol? Yep, all quiet on the Elridge front. Awesome, it's getting late. Most of the star staff tuck in early, so you can take the rest of the night off. Great, I best I better go on everyone else's bloody clock body clocks. And then I'll be in my room if you need me. Well, I'm no closer to figuring who's behind the brain goo, but there are a few folks acting suspicious. 
It might be just dark humour and a coping mechanism, but it sounds like a lot of these guys are fine with gruesome shit happening to innocent people. I mean, it's not like there isn't plenty of gruesome shit happening to innocent people out there already. But that doesn't excuse kidnapping people and collecting brain goo. First thing tomorrow, I'm going to find out who it is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to leave that here because otherwise these episodes are going to get really long and really tedious. Anyway, I have been TH. This has been the Miskatonic. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Um, we will be getting to the mystery of the brain goo. But for now, I hope you have a good couple of weeks, and I'll see you guys in two weeks. Good luck and sweet nightmares.